who is going to do what in a workflow. Hi, welcome back to the YAL tutorials. My name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. In the last video, we have entered the data necessary for our little workflow and this time we will talk about resources. The question, who is going to do what? So we'll first go into the control center and we will create roles and also some users and then we will go back to the YAWL editor and enter the roles. Who is going to do which tasks? So let's start. On our screen we have the YAWL editor on the left hand side on top. On the bottom we have a YAWL control center here uh, later on for the users and uh, on the right hand side we are logged in as YAWL administrator. Um, admin password YAWL all in capital letters. So, let's see what we can do. Um, we go to the org data tab first and we are going to create roles. And the first role is called applicant. The second role is called approver. And now we are going to create users, two users for each role. So uh, we go to participants and we add new participants or users. So the user ID of the first one is LHA. And the password is pass can make it visible here, pass, and we have to repeat it. And this user will be an applicant. The next one is again password pass and an applicant. And now um, two users with the approver role. Same password, approver role selected. And the last one a role and there we are now we have roles we have users and now we can start editing our workflow and you can find a workflow specification called application for leave dot y'all in the supplementary material and I will just drag and drop this here into the y'all editor so we have a specification here simple workflow Submit leave request, then approve leave request, note approval and note rejection. And the first task, submit leave request, this should be offered to all users with the role applicant. And if we select the task here in the editor and we go down on the left hand side until we see resourcing, we currently see UUU, which means everything is done by the user at the moment. And we now um, enable system offer. And under the role section here, we click on the plus sign and we choose applicant. And then this work item, when we execute the workflow, will be offered to all users with the role applicant. We click OK and then this is done. So the next one, approve leave request, um, this goes to the role approver. So we enable system offer. We select approver here. 
And now note approval and note rejection, this depends on the decision of the approver. And this is to notify the same applicant that the application, the leave request has been accepted or not. And here we go on resourcing, enable system offer, and we choose applicant. And now we choose choose completer of task submit leave request. So we want this to be the same user that has submitted the leave request. And in node rejection we do exactly the same. We enable system offer, we choose applicant and we choose the completer of task submit leave request. In principle this should work now and we will see that in the next video. See you then.